So in this vlog, I'm going to answer the question, how do you write your book? And no, the vlog is not going to be 20 hours long. Um, writing a book, the broad outline of writing a book, is not very difficult. It really isn't. You sit down and you decide um, what your topic's going to be. I did this and I ended up with five books. Um, the, I started out with my first book and by the time I got done writing it was actually two books because I had too much content and, uh, and then the other, bo the books, other books just followed on. I, I think I had five books within three and a half or four years and now I actually have a publishing house um, because I've discovered that uh, I, I do like writing books. Um, so writing a book is not hard. You start out by making a chapter map, um, a book map. What's the book going to be about? Um, and what's, what's the progress of your book? What's, what's the story that you're going to tell in your book? Where's the beginning and where's the end and how do you get from the beginning to the end? Um, you can start, uh, this is a trick and this is one reason why I had so much before I even, uh, I think I had the two books done in nine months. Um, go to your previous publications pull all that material together and I like to say I dumped it in a pile. I took all my blogs, um, I took, uh, I of course because I'm a lawyer I had um, uh, interesting cases, I had famous cases, I had cases where I had made new law and I had kept all the information from those cases so I had motions and memorandums that I had prepared, actually the word is memoranda, that I had prepared um, in the context of those cases that uh, helped me tell the story of the case when I wrote that story inside my book. Um, so I took all that material and I put it in a pile and then I looked at what I had and I put it in order. I put it in the progress of the story that I wanted to tell in my book. Um, some of it didn't fit. So it got tossed in the, in the trash, not the permanent trash because maybe it would fit into another book, but it got tossed in the trash and I ended up with this pile. Now, in this pile I had blogs that were only 500 words long and 500 words is not really long enough for a chapter. So there were blogs that I took that I converted into chapters by expanding on the content. A chapter is usually going to be between 1,000 and 5,000 words. Um, which sounds like a lot, but it really, it really isn't, and I'll, I'll give you a hint about that shortly. But 2,000 words is about where you want most of your chapters to be, anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000, but head for 2,000, um, because that's a good length. Uh, and I will tell you that um, one of the things that I did when I had an idea for a chapter, back up. So I had all of these chapters already written, in part, um, and then I had, I noticed that I had gaps because I had chapters of stories that I wanted to include in this book or details that I wanted to include about uh, the subject that I was writing about um, and so I had holes. I had to fill those holes. So I had to write some chapters from scratch. The thing that I do with writing chapters is I pretend that they're short. I pretend that they're blogs and I take my cell phone and when I'm driving in my car I dictate the chapter into my cell phone. I can dictate, I don't know, a hundred words a minute? Uh, yeah, that's about right, a hundred words a minute. If I know where I'm going, what I'm talking about, I can dictate a thousand words on my drive home in 15 minutes. When I get home then I have to send that blog to myself and then I start working on making it the chapter. But it only took me 10 or 15 minutes to get the bones of that chapter down and uh, then I expanded from there. The expanding actually is what takes a lot of time because at that point you're honing, then you're choosing your words carefully, you're making some sentences short and explosive and then longer sentences more in detail, you're adding dialogue to chapters um, and that all of that takes uh, some some time, the honing process of, of uh, taking the rough edges off of everything that you've created. Once you've got your book, don't forget you need to find an editor and there are actually a couple of editors that you want. You want um, both a copy editor for your grammar and your syntax but you also want a content editor, someone who's going to read your book um, 
for with a fresh eye and and probably you want someone who's familiar with your subject matter so if you're um, a marriage counselor and you're writing a book on counseling you want another counselor to read that book because they're this is content that they're looking at so they may say to you well, you know, you told the story from, from A to Z, but you were missing P. I think you should have a chapter in there on this. And they would only know that if they were familiar with your content. So uh, keep in mind, those are two of the editors at the very least that you need to find. And then you also need to decide whether you're going to be publishing um, this book yourself, self-publishing, or if you're going to use um, a traditional publisher and then you're going to have to shop the book uh, quite a bit. Traditional publishers are hard to get in with. Or you might go with a hybrid publisher like, like uh, my Open Palm Publishing. Um, Open Palm Press does hybrid publishing. We, we, uh, we do most of the publishing, but the authors do some of the, the work themselves, and so the cost is less to them. It's more than self-publishing, but much less than uh, traditional publishing. Once you've decided how you're publishing, if you're doing the publishing or you've got a hybrid publisher, you may very well uh, be designing your own cover. So keep in mind that you'll need a graphics expert. Find a graphics expert who can do covers. I did my first couple of covers on Fiverr.com. Uh, it was very inexpensive. I didn't actually end up using them because I, uh, I just wanted to get ideas and I wasn't thrilled with the content that I got from them but I found a graphics artist that I really enjoyed. And so uh, I use him regularly and we use him for Open Palm Press as well. So design your cover, uh, design your back cover as well. Don't forget that, that's not gonna be a blank page. There's, there are tricks and um, uh, different things that you can do with a back cover. You're gonna wanna put some, some quotes about your book on the back cover. You're gonna wanna put questions on the back cover that in induce people to open the book to see what the answer to the question was. Always, the idea with the front cover is to get them to turn it over and look at the back. The idea with the back cover is to get them to open the book and look inside. And that's the basics of writing your book.